What's up guys, KSK here. Welcome back to another Linux distro. So let's take a look at our favorite Linux distro called Solus. This distro is currently used by many users and gaining the huge popularity in the community of Linux. According to DistroWatch, Solus ranked the seventh position in competing with many other distributions of Linux. So what is Solus? Unlike other Linux distros, Solus OS is independent. It's completely written from scratch, like Debian, Arch Linux, Red Hat. Solus is considered as independent Linux distro that uses its native package manager. Budgie is the default desktop environment of Solus that is derived from GNOME stacks. Like other distros, Solus offers different flavors of desktop that can be chosen by your liking. In this video, I will be reviewing the Solus Budgie Desktop Edition and I will talk about everything which includes both pros and cons. At the end of this video, I will share my experience with Solus as a programmer. So make sure to watch the video till to the end. So if in case you are the new viewer of this channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and consider hitting the bell icon to get notified about the latest tech videos. Let's get started. Alright, so this is the first glance of Solus you get to see after completing the installation. The initial expressions after installing this distro seem to be impressive. The menus, app drawer, dock panel, status bar, and icons, everything feels natural at first glance. Anyway, let's talk about the features of this distro. By the time of recording this video, I have installed the latest build of Solus version 4.1. Let me go ahead and open the terminal and show you the more information about this update. As you can see, Solus comes with the latest kernel 5.4, the exclusive package manager, and most importantly, the Budgie desktop environment. So Budgie is the default desktop of Solus derived from GNOME stacks. It gives a level of comfort that will help in customizing the user interface according to your fancy. Now inside the app drawer, it provides an option to tweak the user interface using a budget desktop settings. Using this setting, you can customize the appearance of widgets, icons, animations, and more. Let's take a look at the style section. Here you can choose a theme for widgets to change the look of UI, and these are a few themes available by default. There is a dark mode option that can be used to enable or disable the dark theme, just like that. One of the most amazing things about Budgie is that it gives an option to customize the panels by adding a various applets. By default, it comes with a two panels at the top and bottom. These panels hold a space for applets, aka widgets, that shows the information like time, date, and different controls. You can add as many applets you need to the panels using Add Applet setting. This shows the default applets that are available in the system. Once you have done selecting the applet, choose to add an applet. This adds to the default top left section. So basically each panel is divided into three sections, start, center, and end. Whenever you add any widget to the panel, it will be added to the start section. You can change the position of any applet and move to any section using these arrow keys just like that. This is my favorite part of the budget desktop that gives a next level tools to tweak the user interface. Now, the budget also provides an option to customize the panel position, size, and more. For instance, the bottom panel consists of few widgets, and I can change the position of this panel to any direction. So this way, I can pin the panel to the left or right very easily. You can also increase or decrease the size of any panel by adjusting these values. Also, you can convert the bottom panel into an actual dock that we get to see on most other Linux distros. Moving on, Solus comes with a built-in package manager known as Evo PKG, which stands for Evol OS Package Manager. It's quite similar to the Debian package mechanism. I mean, the way it works is the same that you used to do in other Debian-based distros. Solus Package Manager is much better than any other package manager of Linux in my point of view. The way it handles the packages is much better and will surprise anybody at first glance. So installing packages like Git, GCC, Android tools, and generic packages is very, very easy. All you have to do is type this command sudo evo pkg 
install and type the name of any package to install in few seconds. For instance, I decided to write C++ code after wrapping up this video, so I need to download a C++ compiler. For that, I will type sudo evilpkg install gcc and type the user password and that's it. The rest of the job will be done by your package manager. For more information, you can read the documentation of Solus Package Manager. Also, removing any package in Solus is very simple. Simply type sudo evil pkg, remove, then type the name of the package you want to remove, and that's it. It's pretty easy to get things done. There are tons of useful packages available in the repositories. You can simply check the list of available packages by typing this command. So this will list all of the packages that can be downloaded within a few seconds. The other way of installing any software in Solus is by using a tool called a software center. So this is a graphical tool. Applications from third-party vendors like Google, Microsoft, Visual Code, Autumn can be downloaded from here. This way, you don't need to search anywhere on the internet to install any third-party software. Also, if the package that cannot be installed using a default Solus package manager from the terminal, don't worry, the built-in software center will help you download with few searches. For instance, I can't able to install CLang compiler from the terminal, so I could search in the built-in app store to see if it's available. As you can see, I can download the CLang compiler from the software center hassle-free. This is what I love about Solus. It has a stunning package mechanism than any other Linux distro. Solus is also known for providing better security. It comes with a built-in firewall called a GUFW. It provides a way to control using a terminal and a dedicated graphical tool lets you interact it seamlessly. UFW is known as uncomplicated firewall is a way to manage a firewall and protect a system from prying eyes. You can also add the rules to your system to control the different services running inside your system. When it comes to installation, Solus provides a default installer which can be used to install the OS very easily. The installer will guide with a few or more options that make your job done with a few clicks. There is nothing to get confused and the installer makes the installation process hassle-free. Uh, Solus is one of the few rolling Linux distros. Uh, this way, users can update the software at any time to receive the most up-to-date versions and are expected to update as frequently as possible. In one word, once you install it and you get updated for a lifetime. There is nothing like end-of-life for a rolling distribution, unlike a standard distros which supports only for a few years. These are some of the pros of Solus that I have noticed. When it comes to cons, even though Solus budget supports a decent customization, but themes you get to see within the system are not sufficient. There are limited options of themes available at the moment. And lastly, a very few old computers with IV bridge chipsets, especially the Intel third generation processors, may face system freezing issues. Eventually, when the system goes to sleep, there is no way to make it work until it further proceeds to restart. This is sort of annoying, it goes to deep sleep and freezes the whole system. To prevent this, I recommend enabling caffeine will solve the freezing issues. So the bottom line of this video, I would say Solus is built for everybody, from beginners to high-end users, everyone can use it without compromising anything. It provides all the basic functionalities that you need to get started with your work. It comes with a free office suit so that you can write documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. For software developers and learners, it supports a wide variety of text editors, programming languages, compilers, and version control systems. Ultimately, I would say Solus is one of its kind and has its own package mechanism and desktop environment. So if you're the one who wanted to check out a unique Linux distro, which is completely independent, and looking for a consistent software updates, then I would say install Solus and feel the power of luxury Linux. So that's pretty much it guys, let me know what you think about it, should you install it, give me any Linux suggestions in the comments down below for future videos. So thank you for watching, this has been KSK Ryle, signing off. I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right